Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now both of these you could get from Samsung. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 starts at 1,800 bucks. The price for the Z Flip 3 starts at 1,000 bucks. Now since this is just an unboxing video, I'm gonna show you both of them real quick and do a little hands-on. I'll wait about a week, and then I'm gonna do a full review on each of these individually. Okay, so let's start off with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Let's run through the specs. Now this one comes in three different colors. You got Phantom Black, Phantom Silver, and Phantom Green. Now for the display, you got a 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1768 by 2208. Now that's 374 for the PPI Patrol. Now for the cover display, you got a 6.2 inch AMOLED panel with the resolution of 832 by 2268. Now you get an HDR10+, it goes up to 1200 nits brightness, you got Gorilla Glass V on the outside, foldable glass on the inside, and you got a 120 hertz refresh rate on both displays. Now the phone is IPX8 water resistant, and now you're getting S Pen support. So that's two huge upgrades right there. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 with the Adreno 660 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now, you got 12 gigs of RAM, 256 or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, it's running Android 11 with Samsung One UI 3.5 skin on top. You got a 4,400 milliamp battery that features 25 watt fast charging, 11 watt fast wireless charging, and 4.5 watt fast reverse charge, also known as power share. Now for the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 12 megapixel wide angle, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel camera underneath the display. All right, that's pretty sick. Now you got dual stereo speakers tuned by AKG, you got always on display, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and Samsung DeX. So what's missing? No expandable memory, no headphone jack, that shit's whack, and if you see by the size of the box, no charge in the box. Now let me say this real quick, y'all know how I feel about no charge in the box, I don't like that. But here's the, here's the thing that I do like, the price. Now last year's Galaxy Z Fold, I paid 2,000 bucks for. So this year's version, it's $200 cheaper. Now, I'm really not gonna sit here and complain about not having to charge in the box if they're gonna drop the price by 200 bucks. Now, even if you buy the biggest 150 watt fast charger brick, that might run you about 50 bucks. You still saving 150 bucks. Samsung, keep the charger, all right? Keep the charger, keep lowering the prices. I like that. Okay, so here we go. Let's unbox this one first. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. White, white shoes. shoes. Calm my... down. Y'all see me curve it in right for the foot. Bang, right to that paw. All right, here we go. Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G. Okay? And the G stands for gangster. This is the new 5 gangster on the block. Here we go. Okay, nice slim black box. All right, y'all know I like that. Giggity, who doesn't? All right, shoes, you want to get your rub on real quick? All right, do your thing. Here we go. Inside device. All right. That's your Z Fold. Let's see what else you get. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Okay. Let's open this one up. Ice right, shoes. Okay. Angle levels increasing. Let's see. Uh, patience running out. Okay. Oh, it was on the top. All right. Here it is. All right. So inside, you got your USB Type C to USB Type C charging cable. Usual books and shit. Plug them and follow them. Here's my SIM card information. Little stickers. That's pretty much it. Now, for the device itself. Now, of course, I put this back in the box with dramatic effect because I already set everything up. Check this one out. Okay, now y'all know I got to do the smell test on this one. Mm! Mm, mm, mm. This one smells like a major W, all right? This is a straight up win. Of course, I got it in Wesley Snipes Black. Y'all see that matte finish on the back? Here's the Z Fold 2 with the shiny back. Now we got the matte back 
<laughs> Matt Black Black. <laughs> Matt Black Black. Matt Black. Matt Black Black. Say that three times. Matt Black Black. <laughs> I know, I, I cracked myself up. All right, here we go. Now, let me power this up real quick. And then we'll walk through it. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so on one side, you got your power button with your fingerprint sensor built in. Now, this is one of those phones that you want the fingerprint sensor on the side. You don't want it on the front. You don't want it on the back. Works perfectly on the side. You got your volume up and down. There's your SIM tray. On the top, speaker grill, mic. On the bottom, USB Type-C charging slot, and there's your other speaker grill. This side, nice and clean, there's your hinge. Okay, so let me wait for this power up real quick, and I'll put in my little passcode, and I'll do the quick once around. Matter of fact, let me get a little wipe down, because I need to see this. Bang. Oh, sorry, she's... <laughs> shoes went and flopped. I don't let me, let me... <laughs> of course, shoes on the dome with that one. All right, here we go. This is how the phone looks when it's starting up. Okay, any second now. Bang, there it is. Now, like I said, you can tell I've been using this for a couple of hours. Everything is all set up already. Matter of fact, y'all already know, video lock screen on deck, New York City. Face unlock already set up. Bang. Woo! Woo! This is what I'm talking about. Now, okay, let, let, let me try to let me try to retain my hype levels. But this is the phone that I've been waiting for basically all year. Let's go ahead and silence this real quick. I've been waiting for this phone all year long. All right, now it seems like this year there's not going to be any Galaxy Note series. So this is the next best thing. All right, this is the new five gangster. Always on display. Of course, white shoe status on deck. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now. Let's unbox the Galaxy Z Flip 3. First, let's go through the specs. Now this one comes in a bunch of different colors. You got black, green, lavender, cream, gray, white, and pink. Now again, the price on this one, 1,400 bucks. Uh, excuse me, 1,000 bucks compared to last year's version, which was 1,400 bucks. So again, no charger in the box. I'm not gonna complain because last year for my Z Flip, I paid 1400 bucks, 1000 bucks. this is a win. All right, because let's keep it real, ain't nobody buying this shit for 1400 bucks. So Samsung was smart to drop the price. Let's go through the specs real quick. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2640. Now that's 426 for the PPI Patrol. Now for the cover display, it's 1.9 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 260 by 512. Now you got Gorilla Glass V on the back, all right, that's Victus, that's the strongest Gorilla Glass out. And you got foldable glass on the inside. You got HDR10+, plus, up to 1200 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 with the Adreno 660 GPU. What does that mean in English? Let's all say it together, flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now it's running Android 11, with Samsung One UI 3.5 skin on top. You got eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got a 3,300 milliamp battery that features 25 watt fast charging, 11 watt wireless charging, and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charge, also known as power share. For the cameras on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 12 megapixel wide angle and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. On the front, you got a 10 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got dual stereo speakers tuned by AKG, got an always on display, face unlock, and a fingerprint sensor. Now what's missing? No expandable memory, no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars, and no Samsung DeX. All right, so if you're a big Samsung DeX user, you're gonna miss that feature on the Z Flip 3. Okay, so here we go. All right, Z Flip 3, same, thin, Athletic black box that I like giggity. Let's open this up real quick Okay, here's your device now. This is the cream color Let's get and snatch this off real quick Okay, there go that cream Let's do the smell test. Why not? Mm! Yeah, this one definitely smells like cream cash rules everything around me now that goes let's see what else you get now it Should be the same stuff in the box but Let's just make sure sim card stickers all right, T-Mobile status. 
status or status, whatever way you pronounce it. Here's your USB Type-C charging cable and your SIM ejection tool. Okay, now check this one out. Let's go ahead and power this up. Same thing, fingerprint sensor on the side. Okay, now again, I've been using this one all day long, so everything is already all set up. Here's your volume up and down. On the top, you got a mic, SIM tray. On this side, speaker grill, USB Type-C charging slot, and another mic. Now, why are you buying this flip phone? For one reason and one reason only. You wanna do this, all right? Bang, you wanna do that flip. Now, check this out. I'm gonna go over the outer display in a minute. This phone is actually a usable flip phone. Now, last year's version, let me see if I find it. Yeah, I got it right here. Last year's version, as much as I liked it, it was kind of gimmicky because this out of display forces you to open up the phone. Okay, if you can't read a full text message, you're gonna have to open up your phone. Now with the new one, look at this. All right, you got a full, not full screen, but you got a bigger display. Now, Samsung, I'm waiting for the day that this whole outside becomes a display, then this is gonna be like one of my main phones that I walk around with all day long. As of right now, I can't do that because this phone is still kind of gimmicky. There's certain times that I do like it when I'm out to dinner and I wanna do some shit like this, bong. You know what I'm saying? I wanna flip it like that. You gotta become a flipologist, bong. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, talking the phone, when I'm ready to hang up the phone, I right, see you later, bong. Now, let me talk about something real quick before I pause the video and set everything else up. A lot of people were saying I'm um, heavy handed. The way I flip phones, this shit gonna be broken in about a week. I had this phone from day one, all right? And this phone right here looks brand new to me. Let me get a matter of fact, let me, let me just prove that real quick. Let me get a little wipe down. Here's the back, okay? Brand new, look at the hinge, all right? The hinge, everything works. This is a flip phone, all right? Don't, don't buy this shit for a thousand bucks and then be, you know, walking around babysitting it, open it up like this, you know, trying to be all gentle. You spent a thousand bucks, you wanna enjoy it, bang, get that flip. That's what you're paying for. You paying, you paying for this flex, all right? The flip flex, bang, you know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, when you first get it, don't just go outside and try to, and, and try to front immediately because you're gonna drop it. Sit at your desk, all right? Practice flipping it and practice closing it with one hand. All right, so practice opening it up, hit the fingerprint sets on the side, and then practice closing it with one hand. All right, so this is gonna be, get a phone call. Yo, what up? All right, I'll I, I catch y'all later. Bang. You gotta get used to doing that. This one, same thing. Now, if you notice, got my video lock screen. Let me go ahead and open this up real quick. Start up the phone. This one is way better than the original because of this. The outer display, okay? Look at this. This is the full size display. Now, if I swipe over, I got messages right here that I can actually read. All right, matter of fact, let me pause the video. Let me let all this stuff set up and I'll get some messages and we'll do a test phone call. I'll show you how messages look. We'll play with both of these devices real quick. Just a little hands-on, all right? Talk amongst yourselves. And on a side note, if y'all see some, if y'all see some random liquids, you know, <laughs> ejecting onto the display of the screen, it's not me spitting. It's it's like about 95 degrees out here. And when I shoot my videos, I gotta turn off everything so you know the mic doesn't pick up the fan or the AC. So I'm back here. If you look at my hands, I'm sweating like crazy. All right, because I know some of y'all, you know, and me too. You watching a video and you see some random liquid fly on the screen, that might kind of turn you off. It's not spit. I right, it's sweat. Now, <laughs> random liquids, both of them are equally as disgusting, but I think sweat is a little less disgusting. Now, I'm going off on a tangent. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, first, let's do a little hands-on with the new Z Flip 3. Now, here's a quick size comparison with last year's Z Flip and this new Z Flip. Exactly the same size, but here's the biggest difference. Now, you got that big outer display. So that means this phone went from a gimmick to a phone that you can actually use and enjoy, all right? The outer display is not just for peeking at little times and messages that you can't really read. Now you can check the time, date, weather, and all of that, and you can actually read your messages. Let me show you how this looks. Now I'm gonna swipe over once. Got a bunch of Instagram messages, okay? I can read those if I want. 
Let's exit out of that. Let's see what else we got in voicemails. Okay, let's see. Got a YouTube comment. Check this out. Now I can actually read the whole comment. And if I want to go straight to YouTube, I hit open app. Flip it open. Bong. Use the fingerprint sensor. And it takes me right to that app. And right to that comment. Pretty sick. Now, like I said, I'm going to do a full review on this. But let me just do a quick walkthrough so y'all can see how it looks. Fingerprint sensor on one side. Oh, matter of fact, let me show you the rest of the outer display. Now, here's my always on display. You got a little animated image. Real nice. Swipe over once. If I had some music playing, I'd have all my music controls right there. Got the weather. Uh, you see, I just got a new notification right there. Okay. Today's schedule. Meditate at 730. Still got plenty of time. No alarm set. Samsung Health. Got a timer. And that's it. Now you can rearrange these apps at your leisure. Now a couple of different ways to open up the device. Fingerprint sensor on the side, which works flawlessly. Bang. There it is. One more time. Bang. No problems. You got face unlock. I just looked at it. Now I'm going to press the button without looking at it. All right, there's my video lock screen. I'm gonna look at it. And I'll do that from behind the camera. Boom, there it is. Now, check this out. When you turn it off, you do have full always on display. All right, typical Galaxy fashion. So this way, if you don't wanna flip your phone, you just wanna leave it on your table like this, it's just gonna look like a regular Galaxy phone. All right, so you're gonna have your always on display. Everything's gonna be the same. Now, if I pick it up, now I'm, I don't have any fingerprint set, uh, set with this hand. There's your face unlock. Scroll over, there's your Google. Matter of fact, let's pull up something that's white. So you can try to see that split in the display. Okay, look, I put something white right in the middle. They did a really great job of hiding that fold because I'm looking for it right now and I can barely see it. So when you're holding the phone like this, you are not gonna see that fold. All right, trust me, hold the phone just like this. You're not gonna see a big flip. Speakers are mad loud on this too. This phone is now a real phone. All right, it's not a gimmick anymore. This is a real phone. Let's see. Uh, do we need? To, I'm not gonna go through all of the settings and all that. Y'all already know what it is. Let's just see. Um, there's no decks. That's one thing I just want to show y'all. No Samsung decks. From the home screen, you got your multi windows. All right, so we can open up Facebook. Then let's open up uh, YouTube on the bottom. I just go open it like that. Open into a full view, pop up views. You got split screen multitasking. Do it like this if you want. Let's do uh let's do open up in a split screen. We'll open up YouTube on the bottom. And there it is. Alright, so there's your full multitasking, which works even better if you put it in flex mode, because now I'm on Facebook on the top. Chilling with YouTube on the bottom. Who that Jim Jones on the bottom? and whack 100 going at each other's necks. I'm here for that entertainment. Flex mode, all right? Flex mode looks dope if you're using split screen multitasking. Now, when I do the full review, I'll show you how to do all of the features. Again, you're buying this phone for one reason and one reason only, this is a flex right here. This is a flex phone, especially when you get the hang of, you see, you gotta learn where that fingerprint sensor is at. When you get the hang of flipping it, and resting your finger right on it just like that. Now, if you notice, from the last one, let's see. Yeah, see now, I'm wondering, why am I missing the fingerprint sensor a little bit? It's actually a little bit higher up than last year's version. So last year's version, I kinda had to, I, I was so practiced of flipping it like that and just resting my finger like that, that it was a no-brainer, all right? And again, you don't have to babysit the phone, you don't have to be all gentle, flip this shit, all right? Bang, just like that, enjoy it. Just make sure, what I do is when I'm flipping it, I use this finger right here as a little guard. So I try to do it from at an angle so y'all can see it. I try to make sure that that finger right there is gonna catch it. Just in case I, you know, I don't wanna flip it too hard. Sometimes I have too much Hennessy and I flip it right out of my hand. I never did that yet. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it could happen. Bang, all right, video lock screens. These are so dope, I love how they look. Get used to closing it with one hand. So now with this one, I'm just gonna have to get Get used to putting my finger up a little bit higher. So when you set your fingerprint sensor up, set it up three different times and get your whole thumb, all right? Get your whole thumb and you're gonna enjoy that flip. 
oh, this is so much fun. Now, <laughs> the reason I say last year's phone was kind of gimmicky because as much fun as this is, flipping this open back and forth, the fun does wear off after a while, especially when you're out somewhere having dinner and you see somebody on a big Galaxy Fold, you know, a big screen display, and, you know, you got a little narrow phone like this, the gimmick kind of wears off. And especially when you got your phone on the table and you get a message, try, try looking at a message like this. Look at this. Let's see, I got a text message. Try looking at a text message using this display. Now, this phone is actually still on. All right. You know what I'm saying? Look, look how the message is scrolling across like that. Nobody got time for that, all right? Let's see if I got that same Gmail message on this one. Uh, no, no, I don't got that one. Let's see, let's get a little, uh, let's see, comment. let's see if somebody's shitting on me. Let's see, uh, how do the Galaxy Buds stack up against the Galaxy? You see, now I did cut off. I wanna open the app. Let's take it right to that message. Okay, bang, just like that. And I could read the rest of that message and keep it moving. All right, so like I said, if there's any questions that y'all want to know when I do the full review, leave it in the comments because I'm going to do a full separate review and um, I'm going to tear this apart from top to bottom. We're going to flip it about 200 more times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to flip it all day and night until I get the correct hang of it. This is just too much fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? Especially when you're outside and you get that phone call. All right? You get that phone call. You set it up to answer the phone when you unflip it. So you're chilling at the table. You get a phone call. Oh, who is it? Oh, it's my cousin Mike. Hold on a second, y'all. Yo, what up? So I'm talking to... All right, I'm going to catch up with y'all later. Put the phone back on the table. You're going to look like a boss. All right, you're going to look like a boss. All right, so that's a quick preview of the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now, let's take it over to the... Big boy, all right? The, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 5 Gangster. Now, quick size comparison. Here's last year's, and this is this year's. Okay, Z Fold 2, Z Fold 3. The easiest way to tell is the shiny back, which, let me just wipe off real quick, because I need y'all to see this also. All right, because there's a lot of people in the comment section that's always like, I'm too rough on my phones, and I'll be slamming them on the table, and, oh, I'm a big gorilla with a phone. I could, I'd put money that my phones look better than yours. <laughs> I would put money on that. Look at this. I know how to take care of phones, and I know the maximum amount of pressure and the way you could treat it without damaging it. So when y'all see me come to the table and throw my phone like that, you're not going to damage your phone like that. All right? This is Gorilla Glass Victus. You know? all right? It's meant to be worn. It's meant to be used. All right. Look at the outside. Let's get a little wipe down. Here's the outside. Now, I know what y'all saying. Okay, you showing us that. What about the inside? Now, let me show y'all real quick. Let me wipe it down. Okay. Now, here's the inner display of last year's Galaxy Z Fold 2. No scratches, no damage at all. Now, a lot of y'all stay trolling me, and I'll show you why. Let me pull up my Instagram. I'm going to show you exactly why a lot of y'all be trolling me. All right, let's go to my page real quick. Let's see... All right, let's wait for this to load up. Okay, now, in all of my Instagram posts, all right, here's one of my posts from the other night. Now, this is me out here, you know, having dinner with my daughter. Y'all always see me with the iPhone. So a lot of y'all stay trolling me like, oh, you got the big boy Galaxy phones. Why do you always have an iPhone in your pictures? Because anytime I go somewhere, this phone is in my pocket. All right, this phone has been in my pocket every single day day this is my main phone this is the phone that i use the most this is the phone that i will not leave home without so that answers the question about durability now let me show you one more thing if you really wanted to take care of your phone hopefully speaking comes out with this case again this was a godsend right here all right this speaking case this really kept my phone looking brand new all right now i usually have my case on uh, my phone in the case like this all of the times except for when i go to dinner now if i go to dinner and i want to sit down and i really want to flex on somebody i'm not going to pull out a galaxy fold with a big giant rubber case on it looking like this no you take the case off and you flex it now just for comparison's sake here's my other work galaxy fold i just did a quick wipe down on it this phone i rock with no case i beat it up all day and night you can notice that it does have a few more scratches on it but it's never had a case on it from day one. Here's the back. Okay, now this back actually looked a little bit better. And here's the inner display. Now let me just do a quick wipe down on the inner display. Because one thing about these plastic displays, they might look like trash. You know, it looks like it's all beat up. But that's just really smudges. 
That's all fingerprint smudges. Once you wipe it down, if you look closely, you might see a little, little nick here and there. But after using this phone for a full year as a work phone, this durability is fantastic. So now, that brings us to this year's Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now we're getting water resistance. So that was one of the main reasons why y'all always see me with iPhones in my picture. Because when I'm sitting down at the table and I got my phone on the table and I'm having drinks and all that, the more Hennessy that I drink, the greater the chances that I'm gonna spill something. And the last thing I wanted to do was spill something on my Galaxy Z Fold 2. I, I, I got OCD, I can't stand the smudges. I didn't wanna spill anything on it. So it's always in my pocket. That's why y'all never see it. But now, with water resistance, <laughs> this phone is gonna be making a lot of prime time appearances. All right, no smudges, no prints on the back. Same couple of ways to open up the device. Fingerprint sensor on the side. Let's hit that. There it is. Now this one, you gotta actually press it. You gotta press the button, open it up. There's your fingerprint sensor. Now face unlock. Bong, there it is. All right, let me open it with, not looking at it. Okay, face unlock. Bong, there it is. All right, so all of the different modes work. Open it up. Now, if you want to, when you close it up, just like with the, <laughs> see, this is what I'm saying. The one thing I hate about these folds is when you initially open it after using it for a long time, maybe all day long, it's gonna look like this. There's no escape. It's gonna be smudged up. If you got OCD, you better walk around with a little microfiber cleaning cloth. But all you gotta do is wipe it down and it's gonna look like this again. Now, same thing, if you just got your phone on the table and you wanna leave it unfolded, you're gonna have your always on display, unfold it. We're gonna lock that up real quick. All right, see always on display, unfold it. Same thing, if you leave it folded, you're gonna have always on display. All right, so you got two always on displays. Let's open it up real quick. Okay, look at that, look at that screen, crazy. All right, swipe over. Now, one thing, I'm gonna have to do my little trick because if you take it over to Instagram, the stock Instagram is gonna look like this. Now, if you notice on my Fold 2, let me show you how the stock Instagram looks after you do the little trick. You see I got full screen Instagram versus this Instagram, which one looks better? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're gonna want full screen Instagram. I'll show you how to do that when I do the full review because um, it's a couple of a APKs that you gotta download. I actually don't remember off the top of my head, but right after this video, I'm gonna do that because I need to see Instagram buns in full glory. I can't be looking at the buns like this. I need to see them full screen, okay? Let's see anything we need to talk about with this real quick. Same thing, you got your edge panel. Now this one, let's do some split screen multitasking. All right, so I got YouTube and Google open at the same time. Tropical weather. Let's try to do Facebook also, okay? Bang, so now I got three apps open at the same time. So I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and Google at the same time. Now, when I do the full review, I'm gonna really show y'all some heavy multitasking, but this is kinda crazy, all right? This is kinda crazy. Now, imagine all of this multitasking, but using an S Pen. Now, if y'all watch my video for the last one, my biggest two gripes, well, not actually biggest, but two of my biggest gripes, which I'll talk about real quick, was no water resistance, because that way, with uh, no, no water resistance, that forced me to keep the phone in my pocket for safety. <laughs> I, I had to keep the phone for safety. I couldn't take it with me when I go to the car wash. When I'm having drinks, I didn't want to have it on the table. I didn't want somebody to spill a drink on it. That limited my flex. Now that you got water resistance, you can really enjoy this phone. Next, S Pen. All right, one of the reasons that I still walk around with a Galaxy Note is the S Pen. Because if I'm chilling, like right now, I'm just having fun going like this, wiping. But normally, I like to have the S Pen in my hand and I like to use it so this way I can click little boxes. If I want to thumbs up comments or heart comments, it's way easier using an S Pen. All right, so that's two major upgrades. And again, I also answered the question already, durability. Because one of the main things that people were leery about buying a Galaxy Note, uh, uh, Galaxy Fold, is because everybody thinks that these are so fragile and you gotta, you gotta be like this. Uh, why did my voice get low? You gotta, you gotta close it softly, you gotta put it on the table. Hey, how you guys doing? No, you don't have to do that. You can treat this phone like a regular phone. You get in the house, throw it on the table, you open it up hard, uh, you close it hard. It's not gonna break as easy as some people would have you believe. And again, this is the perfect, this is the perfect example of, of, of durability. Look at that, oh, y'all see the Statue of Liberty? 
Hold on, let me let that rock again. Y'all see the Statue of Liberty? Pretty sick. This is the Galaxy Fold that I use for work. So this is the one that I really don't care about. I really don't care about it. This is the one that I don't just close it like this. I close this one like this. Especially when somebody's getting on my nerves. Somebody sent me that email in the middle of the night and I read it. Ah, ah, throw it on the table. This phone has survived my anger levels. <laughs> and it still looks dope. This phone I actually babysat. And it looks immaculate. So this phone, I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to babysit it a little bit. But at the same time, I'm really going to use it a lot more now that it's water resistant. Okay, so I don't want to take too long with this video. Hit me up in the comments if there's anything y'all want to see specific. But I know, I know y'all need to see one more flip. I, I'll give y'all two more. Why not? Bunk. I, <laughs> I last one. This is the last one, I promise. Oh, look at that. Notification coming in. Let's see. Notification. Look at that. I, I tell you, you got that little animation. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. This is going to be one of my favorite phones now because I wanted I wanted to love this phone so bad, but that little display was getting on my nerves. Matter of fact, let me show y'all one more thing. Let's take it over to the camera. All right, let's go to the camera. Check this out. You hit that little button. Bang. Now you got camera on the back. So this way, when you're taking a selfie of somebody or you're taking a selfie of, uh, a selfie of yourself, if, if you're taking a selfie, you can hit that little box, turn it on. Bang. You got your camera. Or if, some, if you want to take a picture and the person want to see how they look in the picture, you turn that on and they can get the right pose that they want. They don't have to keep saying, I right, take a picture. All right, let me see how it looks. Take a picture. Let me see how it looks. No, pose and you see how it looks right now. There it is. Now, when the display is off, all you got to do is hit the power button twice. And bang, there's your camera again from the outside. So say you're outside, you got to you know, get the world star hip hop moment. Or you want to be on some creep shit and you want to just take a quick picture over your shoulder while the phone is closed. Hit the power button twice, open up your camera, take that picture. Bang. I think I'm gonna love this phone. I, I think I'm gonna love this one, especially with that bigger display. Samsung, please, if y'all watch this video for the Galaxy Z Flip 4. I don't, this whole, this whole outside should be a phone. All right, this should, uh, a, a phone, a screen. This should hold, this should be a big giant screen right here. And then this phone right here would not only be non-gimmicky, it would be totally plausible <laughs> big words alert oh one more thing check this out all right look at this what's missing from the top all right now the camera's picking it up a little bit because y'all know how that does uh with video i forgot the actual term for that uh malography or some some shit like that i just made that up but you see how um <laughs> you, see how you can see the little camera dot in real life though say you're on something like this on facebook with a white background you're not going to see any camera hole in the front how sick is that but then when you're ready to take a picture that camera's going to pop up that little there it is right there you see it now you can't i right now i'm looking at it i can't see it through the naked eye but i can see it through the camera lens this is pretty sick all right now there's one more thing i want to show y'all all right so here's what i wanted to show y'all now, say you work outside doing construction or maybe you're a police officer, a fireman, crossing guard, whatever you do. You're thinking about buying this phone, but you're worried about durability. You're going to need something like this. All right. Now, I'm almost 100 percent sure that speaking is going to come out with this again. This is the slim armor or tough armor case for your Galaxy Z Fold. If you buy this case, this is going to 100 percent protect your phone. All right. That's why my work phone still looks like this. No scratches. No dents, no dings, nothing. Ever since I started using this case, it fully protected my phone, all right? So if you're worried about durability, everybody hit up Spigen and tell them, make sure they bring this case out. And Spigen, I'm talking to y'all right now, make sure y'all bring this case out, all right? Now this case was a little bit expensive, but worth every penny. And this is what I meant though. You notice how bigger and heavier it makes the phone? That's why I said if you're trying to flex at dinner, you don't want to have this on the table like this. It's just too big. But it pops off easy. Then you drop your phone on the table like this, get your little flex on, and your phone will still be protected and look like brand new. Okay? Matter of fact, I, I know. <laughs> when I said brand new, it's supposed to look like this. Anyway, Galaxy Z Fold 3. Galaxy Z Flip 3, hit me up in the comments and let me know specifically what y'all want to see in the real review, but y'all know I'm going to tear it apart from top to bottom. Are we going to test the camera? We're going to test the speakers, multitasking, battery, 
Samsung Dex. We're going to test everything, all right? Everything that you could think of, I'm planning on testing. But if y'all can think of something else maybe I didn't think of, leave it in the comments. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys a lot. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm about to do something. Spot when the beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter. We know you flossy. Now guess what? I'm flashy. Money made all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.